at Brownbell, it's really time to put the finishing touches on what you've been working so hard for. It's time to take all those techniques, all those sequences, those attacks. You take all that technical ability and now you need to match it with patience and composure. The more patient you are, the more composed you are, the more alarmed your opponent will get. You know, c composure really, in time, covertly starts to break down somebody. They, they don't understand why you're so patient, why you're so composed, or what you have planned, and that, that can turn into anxiety for somebody. So now instead of forcing, instead of forcing the sequences and techniques like a lot of purple belts do, not all, now you're waiting, you're lying in wait, because the ability is there, now, now all you need them to do is make one little mistake. At Brown Belt, you really need to start believing in yourself. Believe in yourself blindly. Believe in your technical ability and your ability to get the job done no matter who you're going against. You've earned that. In order to become a black belt, you need to start believing that you're one. It's that, that connection between all your experience, all that ego death combined with your composure and patience on the mat and your belief that you can handle yourself, that you can defend yourself against anyone doesn't matter if it's a 260 pound blue belt. You need to have the composure within you to start surviving in the smallest pocket of air. You need to start believing that you're hard to kill. You need to start being extremely hard to kill. Now you already have a game. Go back to that blue belt curriculum. Start filling in your weak spots with the basics. You have your strong points. You have your natural game. Now just start adding in those, those little weak spots, filling in those little holes so that you have something for every position every angle every body type you may go up against you've got some ammunition and at brown belt it's time to lay and wait be patient and become a deadly sniper And you know when the moment's coming, your sensitivity is getting so that as soon as the moment comes, you pull the trigger, you don't, you don't think about it anymore. The trigger's already pulled. As soon as the target comes into range, you, you just act. There's no thought to muscle anymore. You're just, you're there.